Zulkhane or House of Strength is the Iranian traditional club in which the ancient traditional Iranian sport is practiced. It is a covered structure. The exercise is carried out to the beat of the drum. Iranians were one of the first nations in the world who attached great importance to their health, barely figure and strength. They carried out bodybuilding exercises and trained their children to practice them as well. The Zurkhana has a little known but fascinating history. During the fall of the Persian Empire some 2000 years ago, Iranian athletes and warriors alike lost their ability to perform their traditional sports in the open. At the same time, they didn't want to abandon their cherished traditions, which were fundamental for keeping their minds and bodies sound and healthy. Consequently, Iranian athletes decided to gather in private homes or undergrounds and carry on their normal routine exercise. Later on, they moved into the type of covered structure that we recognize today as the Zulkhane. Even the word Pahlavan or champion comes from Parthia. The first lesson that Zulkhan Agur needs to learn from the very beginning is to be humble. Accordingly, the main entrance to the Zulkhan has been built in a way that you have to bow for entering this place. This is a sign of humbleness and at the same time, respect. Zulkhan is not only a place for physical exercise, but also a place for learning chivalrous behaviors. The Zulkhan sportsman is first expected to be pure, truthful and good-tempered and then strong in body. At the center of the Zurkhana, sunken in the floor, is a circular or octagonal pit, which is called goat of about three or four feet deep and about 30 or 40 feet in diameter. By the entrance, there is a structure where the person who recites poetry is located. This person is referred to as Morshed or leader. The Morshed has a somewhat elevated place over the audience so that from where he sits, he can see all the goings on in the Zulkhane, both in the pit and the audience. In front of him, slightly higher than eye level, there is a bell for informing the audience of the arrival of prominent guests to the gathering. Morshed sits one or two meters higher than others. Everyone should fully abide by the orders of the Morshed. Morshed trains Pahlavan or hero so as to be helpful to the poor and the needy. The general ambience of Zulkhane is one of devotion to the Imam Ali and his descendants. The exercises are different. They include wielding the meal, which is a club, pulling the kabbadeh, which is bow-shaped iron weights, lifting various types of sangs, push-ups and gyration. Sang is the symbol of shield which was used in the wars. Push of board, which a sportsman wield, is a symbol of sword. Mil represents club and kabbade is the symbol of bow. The ethics of the Zulkhane are based on manliness and bravery. The rules of the Zulkhane forbid employment of any tricks that might belittle an opponent or humiliate him before the audience. When athletes get together in Zulkhane, in addition to doing exercise, they try to solve the problems of each other or anyone who needs help. If they hear that somebody is sick, and can't work, they go to his house and visit him and take flour and money and offer financial assistance until he is back on his feet again. This is one of the features of Zurkhane. 
The Zulfan sport has become popular in other Asian and even European countries, to the extent that 33 countries took part in the first international festival of Zulfan sports held in the Iranian city of Mashhad in Khorasan Razavi province in 2005. Samakujuri, Press TV, Tehran. <laughs>